Welcome to Sheet Leveler. I'm Lee, and I'm here to help you use Excel in a quick and easy way with our digestible video tutorials. Today, we'll take a look at how to use the Track Changes function. To get started, we'll need to access the Review tab and see if the command is already on the ribbon menu. If it isn't, we can add it. To do this, right-click on the Review tab, then select Customize the ribbon. In the pop-up window, click on the Review pane in the right-hand side and select New Group. Right-click on this new group and rename it as Track Changes. From the list on the left, select the command Track Changes Legacy and click Add. This command has now been added to the Review tab in the new group. Next, click on the Review tab and you should see the Track Changes command. To turn it on, select Highlight Changes and make sure the Track Changes While Editing option is selected. You can also specify the point of time from which you want to track changes and the portion of the spreadsheet you want to track. With the Highlight Changes on Screen option ticked, you'll be able to immediately see what changes have been made. To create a separate spreadsheet with the record of all changes, click on Track Changes and select List Changes on a new sheet. Excel will automatically generate this sheet. Finally, to accept or reject changes, click on Track Changes and select Accept Reject Changes. Here, you can accept or reject all changes at once. And that's it. With Track Changes, you can keep track of all changes made in a spreadsheet. To turn off Track Changes, simply go to the Track Changes section, select Highlight Changes, and uncheck the box Track Changes while editing. With that, you're done. Now you can make edits to the spreadsheet without keeping track of the changes. If you found this tutorial helpful, hit that like button. Subscribe and watch other video tutorials to learn how to use Excel like a boss. Thanks for your support and I'll see you in the next video.